Hey YouTube, JW. Got another edition of uh, Retro Knives for you guys here today. And uh, we're going to look at a frost knife. Frost? Well, you know, frost knives used to be good. Um, same patterns basically as the early 80s Parker knives. Uh, Parker and uh, Jim Frost have a long history together. And uh, the, the frost knives that were surgical steel, as this one is, that were made in Japan, um, like this Widowmaker here, you see the old frost tank stamp, Widowmaker, um, good knives. This one has like a red bone, jig red bone on it brass bolsters nice leather sheath it's just a good knife um, frost now is pretty much junk I mean it, it kinda makes me sad when I see them on the show trying to sell some of the stuff they sell it mostly just gimmick and novelty stuff I think I bought one knife from uh, Cutlery Corner and it was not even um, <clears throat> A frost knife but the older frost knives do hold value uh, not as much as the Parkers I don't think but they're up there and they had a lot of knife designs I think Parker had more in overall I mean I like this Dirk type design and if you look here uh, it's similar to like this Special Forces Parker here is a Parker, uh, like a K-Bar copy, K-Bar header design like this. And then here is a Explorer boot knife. So they all kind of have uh, the same type of design to them. Which is a pattern that I really like, if you can't tell. So anyway, this is the Widow Maker, just a classic uh, 19 early 1980s frost knife. And like I said, the old frost stuff is actually good, you know. But nowadays they're just Chinese stuff. So uh, if you're looking for uh, to get into collecting vintage knives, uh, frost is definitely something to look at. You can get some pretty decent and unique knife designs, boot daggers, stuff like that, um, at a reasonable price. And I don't think the prices of them are ever going to go down. Um, knives, in a lot of ways, are like guns. And the fact that uh, <clears throat> if you have a col uh, some, you know, a collectible type of knife, such as what this is here, it's never going to go down in value. It's only going to go up. Um, I don't think the collector's market is ever going to go down on knives. So, here's just a, I just wanted to show, I don't think I've included Frost Cutlery in uh, any of this retro knife series. And I've had several and sold them, but actually this one is for sale right now. But that's what I do. I can't keep them all, you know, I'd like to. But... It's a good example of a good frost knife. I appreciate you guys watching. Follow me on Google+. Peace out.